Okay, so this is a 4-bit processor and it's based mostly on implementation of this book, which is a brilliant book that I, that I actually suggest to all of you. And with a lot of help of Ben Eater's website, which is perfect for enthusiasts like, like us. So this, this processor doesn't actually look too impressive, but actually it is because it's a simplified version of a modern processor. For example, we have registers here, the general purpose registers and the temporary and the accumulator register. We have arithmetic and logical units that has eight instructions. We have a flex register here, which is very important. We have a control logic, control logic unit. Finally, we have a stepper because each instruction should be fetched in three steps and then executed in the next two steps. We have an instruction register here instruction address register here and finally the part with the RAM and the part with the clock module that actually pumps the blood into the system that makes it work. For example, we can stop it and we can debug it. So by going through each of the steps you can see what happens on the bus, what happens on the registers, what happens in the RAM and in the instruction and instruction address registers. On the other hand, if you want to program it, you can skip into program mode and, for example, change this address on this address. We can put any byte. Oh, no byte. Nibble, because it's a 4-bit computer. It's not a byte. So if I put it here, I can say, okay, on the next address, I can put some other byte. Again, I'm saying not a byte, the nibble. And this is actually it. So maybe we can go back to this and it just starts moving again. All this is based on a very simple paradigm, and it is, you cannot use any component unless you completely understand it. So for example, if you want to add two numbers, or basically nibbles, you have to understand how adder works. Well, in order to understand how adder works, you have to understand how logical gates works. And well, the logical gates is built by transistors, and again, transistor is just an implementation of a diode principle, so you have to understand the basics of semiconductors. So this is what I'm presenting in my tutorial and on my Bellatronics website. So please feel free to, to check, check this out. Hope you like it.